Welcome to Crafting at Home with OC Public Libraries. Today we'll be making an easy two-sided fabric bookmark. But first we'll cover the basics of sewing machines. So when you're ready, let's go! This machine's on button is to the right, next to the power cable and foot pedal outlets. Pressing this foot pedal will get the machine going. This wheel on the right raises and lowers the needle. Speaking of the needle, here's our star player. Just below it is the presser foot, which holds the fabric in place. Lift and lower the presser foot with this lever here. These are the feed dogs, which pull the fabric along. You can measure your seams using this grid here. And here's where your bobbin lives. More on that in a bit. Here we find the machine's digital functions. The stitch length measures the thread as it goes in and out of the fabric. 2.5 is standard. For zigzags, the stitch width measures the thread side to side. This is where you'll input your stitch type, which you can select from over here. This lever changes your sewing speed. Choose from slow, fast, or ah! You'll use this back stitch button a lot to secure the start and finish of your seams. Now, let's thread our machine. Hook your thread through the metal piece on top, then all the way down the slot under to the next slot, then up. Turn the wheel until the hook inside this slot is at the top. Hook your thread through it and bring the thread down. Now slide your thread around this little notch just above the needle. Press this lever down and hook your thread under the piece shaped like a bird beak. Keep pressing until the little claw wraps around the needle. With the thread held taut in the center of the claw, let go of the lever. The claw has pulled a loop through the eye of the needle. Pull out the tail, then lay it under the presser foot towards the back of the machine. Here's where we put the bobbin, which latches onto the main thread to form a stitch. With the thread coming out the left, drop in the bobbin and wind the tail along the arrows. Give the thread a tug against the blade to cut it off. To pull up your bobbin thread, raise and lower the needle a few times. When the tail pops up, pull it out and lay it alongside the main thread. Here are the most important tools of the trade. You will need a transparent ruler, very sharp fabric shears, a disappearing ink marker, a seam ripper, a whole bunch of pins, and a cutting mat to protect your table surface. Let's talk fabric. The main pattern side is called the right side. The back is called the wrong side. You can tell because it's more faded. And now it's time to start our bookmark. Start by choosing two complementary fabrics. Measure and cut both fabrics six and a half inches by two and a half inches. You'll also need interfacing, which fuses onto the fabric to stiffen it. Cut it a little smaller than the fabrics, six inches by two inches. Place one fabric right side down, then place the bumpy side of the interfacing onto the wrong side of the fabric. Use an iron to fuse the fabric and interfacing together. Place the second fabric's right side against the first fabric's right side. Pin together. Yes, it will look backwards for now, but don't worry. We're ready to start sewing. See this one quarter mark? That's where we'll line up our edge. 
Make sure the pin is out of the way of the presser foot. Use the wheel to lower the needle into the fabric. Then drop the presser foot. With your foot on the pedal, sew a few stitches. Then release your foot and hold the back stitch button to secure the thread. Continue sewing forward. When you near the end of one side, lift the presser foot to pivot to the next side. Remember to lower it again. As you sew around, leave a gap by stopping a few inches from where you started. The gap should look something like this. Trim each corner diagonally, but be careful not to cut through your thread. Now we get scrunchy. Remove the pins and turn the bookmark inside out. Be sure to poke out the corners so your bookmark makes a nice rectangle. As for that little hole problem, fold the edges of the gap inward, then use an iron to press it closed. Sew a top stitch around the whole bookmark, not just the gap. A top stitch is a seam that's very close to the fabric's edge. Once you've sewn all around, remember to back stitch to secure your threads. Almost done. Just gotta clip these tails and then... Voila! Your bookmark is ready for all those library checkouts. Thank you for watching and enjoy your sewing.